Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, whether you're spending some of your Thursday with us or whether you're tuning in at a different time, we're just really grateful that you're spending some time with us. Uh, my name is Robert Lehman. I'm the marketing and booking manager for the Cedar Cultural Center. And I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about the Cedar Public Access Channel. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about ways to support it. And then I'll give you a little bit of an overview of what to expect from the program tonight. Um, so the Cedar Public Access Channel, it's an online content stream and it's a way that we um, can continue to pursue our mission of promoting intercultural appreciation and understanding through the presentation of global music during this time when our hall is closed. Now, we're not sure when we're gonna be able to do shows with people in the hall. You know, it's something we're investigating right now. Um, but this is a way that we can continue to connect with audiences and continue to uplift artists' voices. Um, so all of the programming is artist-led, it's low budget, and basically, we're just trying to pursue what the artist's vision is for something that can only be done in this space. And whether that's an interactive concert, whether that is an interview, whether that's archival footage where the artist is talking about it, um, it's really up to each of the artists as to what this program ends up being. You can find these programs every other Thursday at 7.30 p.m. And you can find that either on the Cedars YouTube channel um, or on the Cedars Facebook. I wanted to give a special, special thank you to everybody who contributed as part of the GiveMN campaign. Without you, this channel wouldn't exist. Now, tonight and for every night of the program, we're encouraging people, if they're able to, to make a suggested donation of $10 in lieu of purchasing a ticket. Um, this money will help continue to pay artists, will help continue to pay techs that are involved and the Cedar staff that are involved in putting this together. Um, it'll help keep this as a space for artists to continue to create, um, curate and perform an experiment. Um, and I'll also hold it as a space for connection, for interaction, uh, for learning, for a larger Cedar community. Um, you can do that by visiting the cedar.org slash donate. Um, yeah. So before we get too far in, um, I figured I would give you an overview of what to expect tonight. So the program is gonna be about 90 minutes and it's going to feature Malaku Bale, um, and he's the leader of Fendika Cultural Center in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Um, just such an inspiring, passionate, friendly person. Um, he is the leader of Ethiocolor and Fendika, and those are two Asmari music and dance troops. Now he's going to be talking with Hui Wilcox, who is a fellow research collaborator, um, a local dancer and educator, um, and they're going to be talking about Asmari instruments. They'll talk about the roles of Asmari in society. Um, and they'll also talk about the role of dance in social justice and the work that it can do um, for social justice. Um, specifically, there's one piece at the end, near the end, um, that ties into this global movement uh, that the world finds itself in after the events surrounding George Floyd um, and the ensuing protests that have happened afterwards. The reason that we're connected with Fendika is because Fendika has performed at the Cedar Cultural Center three times, um, and they were supposed to be here for a fourth time. Now, unfortunately, due to COVID, that can't happen, but we're hoping that this program can be a way for Fendika um, and Malaku to connect with their growing audience here in the Twin Cities, um, and also as a way for people to understand a deeper context, um, that deeper meaning behind what Fendika does, and to bring that context uh, to the next performance that Fendika has here, uh, whenever that may safely be. Now, most importantly, if you enjoy the program tonight, um, we really, really, really encourage you to continue to support Malaku's work with Fendika Cultural Center. You can find a link to their GoFundMe in the description below, um, or you can visit fendika.org to learn more about them. We're also really excited. Um, we're gonna be co-sponsoring a show with them that's airing tomorrow night on their YouTube channel. Um, so check out their YouTube channel on Friday night if you'd wanna see a full performance live stream. Um, of Ethiocolor, live from Fendika Cultural Center. And with that, let's get started. So first off, you're gonna see some Asmari dancers and musicians um, from Ethiocolor at Fendika Cultural Center performing Gambella Dance. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
yo 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 yo
Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Hui Wilcox. I'm a sociology professor at St. Catherine University, and I'm happy to have this opportunity to have a conversation with Malaku. Malaku, would you like to introduce yourself to people? Oh, well, yes, of course. Thank you very much. And uh, my name is Malaku Balai. I'm a dancer and uh, a choreograph or uh, supporting Ethiopian music and, and uh, Asmari music and everything. So, yeah. So, uh, Malaku is being a little modest here. Um, so, uh, if I introduce him, I would say he's the founding director of Fendika Culture Center, uh, where he's sitting at right now. And he's also the founding president of Ethiopian Dance Art Association. And um, many of you might know that he's um, one of the most virtuosic Ethiopian dancers of our times. So um, I'm very honored to have this conversation with Malaku today. Thank you. Same here. So Malaku, I know you uh, have performed with the Cedar Culture Center three times already. Uh, uh, in the past? Yeah, four times. Four times. Yeah, three okay. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were scheduled to come back again this September, but of course, um, COVID-19 has made it impossible. Yeah. Um, but this has given us, the silver lining, I guess, um, is that this has given us an opportunity to showcase and discuss um, the many aspects of your work with Fendika Culture Center. So uh, you're touring with Fendika, that's the group of musicians and dancers. It's a small part of the work that you do there. Um, so we just heard some music from Ethiocolor musicians in Fendika. Um, would you like to tell our audience friends a bit about the space that they're performing in um, and the work that you do with Fendika Cultural Center. Yeah, thank you very much. Of course, Fendika is a, uh, I working for 22 years, but I running the place 2008. But before is uh, only Asmari uh, 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 musician playing, no another thing. Asmari is a very traditional part of a very important role for Ethiopian music culture. Uh, they playing uh, when they playing what is today like a newspaper uh, so they expression as uh, happy or sad or justice uh, all everything as are very uh, important so uh, but there is no variety and also because in Ethiopia we have uh, a lot of different culture so when I ran it uh, 2008 uh, I start uh, after uh, I start Ethio color. Ethio color is uh, you can see three generations at the same time. Uh, after also we start also jazz. Uh, we start uh, uh, poetry among ones. Uh, we start also gallery. Uh, the gallery also giving by free the space. Uh, yeah, and also we give also for practice uh, from there is not practice place in the town. The town is like te, uh, 10 million people living in Addis Ababa, uh, but still uh, mm -hmm. there is not enough space for art. Uh, but the art is very strong. Mm -hmm. So that make me angry. And uh, so that's why I give a space for the dance association also offices here now in Vendika. And also mm -hmm. many dancers and musicians, they want to practice. I give a space. So um, mm -hmm. 24 hours and for art. Just from being there myself um, quite a few times, uh, many people say that Fendika is not, you know, it's a beautiful art space, uh, space for music making, um, but it's also a spiritual place. Um, people call it church. Um, so it's a very yeah. special place. And uh, to me, it's also a kind of an, a social experiment in a way because it's a, 
case of democratic space or place building, place making. Yeah. Partly because there's, you know, there's no funding, right? So you have no funding from the government, you have no funding from foundations. Yeah. Um, so Not for the that. most part, it's, um, you know, um, built out of sheer willpower and love for music, love for community. Um, exactly. And it's just amazing that you've kept it going, you know, if you say from 2008 until today, um, uh, without those kind of supports. And then of yeah. course, we're always, you know, it seems like from, from my conversations with you that it's always in danger to, um, yeah. that, you know, the, the existence is never secured, partly because. Yeah, exactly. mm -hmm. Yes, well, I'm happy and we are happy still continue. As you said, good point is but still each second is dangerous. But we never give up. We uh, keeping the energy, giving us big hope, and like yeah. now this is to we got a mm -hmm. chance. Like Cedar, uh, I love Cedar. Uh, our communication. Uh, what when I arrive the first time, I see uh, the inside the all the work, the welcoming and the soul. You can feel it in the air, the energy, and I love them so. And yeah, this is, uh, I learn a lot, like yeah. that experience. And so, uh, yeah, and that's also making us until now as a big family, uh, mm -hmm. we keeping up now for now, uh, today, even mm -hmm. we can, we cancel the, because of the situation, but we never stop now continue. Yeah. That's wonderful, the art never stop. So yeah, uh, yeah this way we, Keeping every day is dangerous, but we never mm -hmm. stop. Yeah. Malako, can you introduce the musicians and their instruments to the audience? Or you start with the instruments? Yeah, it's an uh, in instrument. Uh, you can listen uh, different, around seven different uh, music, like Romania, Guragenya, Somali, Walaita, Tigrenya, Amharic. And so uh, all these uh, uh, different uh, speaking Amharic, we don't uh, uh, understand as a language, but this music is making us unite. So mm -hmm. one is the instrument is a seven string called Krar. The mm -hmm. Krar is, uh, the name is coming from the sound called Krar, like to make wire, you know, Krar. Is that in a, a very long uh, uh, history with that instrument? Uh, so we have brass uh, instruments, we have uh, wire, we have uh, rhythm, and many different. Mm -hmm. uh, another instrument, what we use it, it's your color, uh, masinko. Ma mm -hmm. uh, masinko is one string, the box is working from goat skin. And the mm -hmm. wire is from horse hair. So uh, that's a beautiful melody, like kind of violin, uh, mm -hmm. but a different way. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is a beautiful that uh, an instrument. Bagana and Masinko, by the way, they use it in the church. And uh, uh, especially 12th century, the Ethiopian music father, we call it Santi Aret, is from the church. Even mm -hmm. he wrote not at that time, mm -hmm. so mostly uh, developing and well and uh, richer is coming. So all we have more than sixty different language, uh, uh, different uh, eighty four different dance. But mm -hmm. when we dance or music in a different language, but you can find inside that in inside the church melody. Mm -hmm. All the style you can find inside that. When the priests they singing, you can find all style inside that melody. And so it's very, still need big research. Uh, mm -hmm. The other uh, the drum, the drum also, uh, uh, like now in these days, we set up like a modern uh, drum setup. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it Kabaro in Amharic. Mm -hmm. uh, but the drum set up also from goat skin and by mm -hmm. stick we did that and also different drum style we have 
But now an ETO color example, we use it like a modern setup, but from goat skin, the drum, mm -hmm. uh, with a different homemade design, uh, painting and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also uh, flute. Flute also, we have also brazen instrument, a lot of different, but we use it flute short one uh, from uh, uh, bamboo. Mm -hmm. uh, the other, we have a bass crar. Bass crar is, uh, uh, is not like Ethiopian culture in instrument. So one of now Ethiopian color musician, he's an amazing uh, Robin. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he playing the bass uh, uh, crar. You will see it, the bass crar, which way he playing. And mm -hmm. very interesting, the groovy and amazing, but very hard because there is no uh, lion uh, uh, to, to know it which area, but just always by his hearing, kind of yeah. like a double bass or something, he follow mm -hmm. it, so that's why he play, very funky. So uh, that instrument playing, uh, of course, uh, a lot of singer, mm -hmm. uh, and of course, with that interact each other also, go together, uh, mm -hmm. flying and in trance with a dancer. And mm -hmm. so also the musician, they are dancers, really, mm -hmm. big passion. And all, yeah. all come together is uh, yeah. rock and roll. So it's uh, this way uh, we uh, express our feeling uh, with, yeah, mistake of beauty, you know, this mm -hmm. mistake is beauty is that way. And all about energy. So we yeah. do it this way. In instrument so it's one of the famous in all over the world is this composition and arrangement by Gilma Bayena. We start in instrument music I said eat your color
we've had discussions about um, the importance contributions that dance and music make to society, you know, in this, in this case, Ethiopian society, um, generally speaking. So Asmari music, it's especially important for uh, Ethiopians and yes. Ethiopian society. Um, so can you say a little more about um, what they do and why are they important? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, indeed, uh, they're very important in the Asmari music. Through the Asmari, people, audience coming, example, in Fendika, uh, mm -hmm. when after work, maybe that person sad or happy can come, mm -hmm. uh, he can give lyrics for Asmari. So mm -hmm. in the stage, there is no difference between Asmari and audience. The mm -hmm. audience also uh, yeah, improvising with Asmari. So the situation capturing, so that's why people coming what is today like a newspaper and freely uh, also honestly do, to discuss expression your anger your happy and, and whatever so that's why also it is old uh, culture example uh in haile selassie time like mini league uh, uh, a king time and uh, when the last king uh they call us Mary in the palace mm -hmm. uh, what is the people uh emotion or thing to know when he's singing even uh, what is the government the king fault also he will telling with a funny way they understand maybe after 20 years or something because they're very uh, strong uh, okay. and also yeah. when we have italian counting occupied in ethiopia uh, mm -hmm. to make uh, alarm or uh, like uh, people to call with asmar is a very important rule that's why also they kill a lot of Asmari at that time. So many way of very important role as a church, as a fighter, as a critics and a, a, a for justice, uh, all the society problems bring out through the Asmari. They are very important. Yeah. That's why also my goal also in around is here, Fandika in Kazanchis, there is a 17 Asmari venue but they uh, destroy now the only fund that are surviving because i'm fighting to keep it uh mm -hmm. so many as married now they change profession run mm -hmm. away the country for servant or something and it's very dangerous so mm -hmm. to revival is uh, we need to work a lot but uh, yeah. still uh, we try to our best so i i was um reading some musicology literature about asmari music yeah. and you know doctor um Ashanafi Kavada? Yes, yeah. So he wrote, I think this was either late 1960s or early 70s. Yeah. He was saying that maybe Azamara music is eventually going to disappear. Yeah. Because of modernization and all, all that. Uh -huh. And I've also heard maybe some other people say it in documentaries as well. This was, you know, 70s and 80s. So people were concerned about. Um, the survival of Asmar Asmaris, and, and so are you from what you just said. But it has survived. I mean, you know, um, yeah, the 60s, modernization start, started with Haile Selassie, right? Yeah. Or maybe earlier. Um, yeah, Minili also starting. But, um, but I, they're still here. Yeah, it's because time after time is dangerous uh, because uh, and, uh, many people, example, they are like this important, but it's a bad culture. People, they want marriage. They don't want marriage with them. And uh, you see, uh, like slaving each other. Uh, so that's uh, not a good culture. And nobody supports them. They people living by tip. When they work, when people giving them tip, if they don't give them tip, uh, it's difficult. The only place in Fandika, and I starting when I start 2008, I start salary because this is to save it and uh, to keeping how much they are important to make awareness. So, yeah, and so still uh, the people enjoy it, love it, but at the same time, no support, no really acknowledge uh, with uh, real uh, support. Only people collide, yes, good, good, but. There is no even the, the government one the big problem is the government uh, not giving the space for that. So that's mm -hmm. 
uh, we need to work now a good opportunity to bring out so so we start researching uh, when the government asking how many um, artists in around the country uh, by the way last week mm -hmm. because of this covid 19 all the nightclubs closed all things they're asking i don't know what they do uh, so they don't uh, call us mari so i collecting from all over ethiopia now i have in my hand that document mm -hmm. to uh, to give with them phone number and uh, name and stuff mm -hmm. so we will see and some big organizing watch out them is good i like uh, to be behind to support them what they think which way uh, yeah mostly sometimes lazy night uh, working because there is survival question and they uh, they are not focused full time of that so if they have this kind of guaranteed insurance they mm -hmm. become focused and better thing to do it and to think also more philosophical or creative mm -hmm. thing so we're gonna maybe switch to more talking about dance now finally okay um, yeah, can well, dance also address you know social problems social issues um as much as asmari music does uh yeah as uh, i said and it depends of the performer Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. That is important. Mm -hmm. But dances, I think, more than everything, as mm -hmm. a body language, uh, easily uh, you become familiar and understanding. The mm -hmm. face expression, uh, human body, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the world is one side. If just only the laughing or the energy you can follow when Azmari playing. But the dance, uh, I'm the witness, I can say, is I think nobody, nothing to compare with dance. Yeah. So maybe we show an example of this. Um, we will show the Gondor dance. We, we're going to play this, but this can also be found on Fendika Cultural Center's YouTube channel. Yes. Um, and uh, the description, the, the text that goes with the clip I'm going to read here, quote. Okay, okay. Um, I can't breathe. I feel the pain of so many brothers and sisters all around the world. Yeah. I'm lucky because I'm still breathing. As yeah. long as I can breathe, I will dance. Dance for hope, for justice, for peace, for freedom, for humanity, mine and yours. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, Mama, told him, 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 Mama
No justice, no peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace.
is not yahoo.com. Yahoo means, you know, many people, you know, Fandika, or in the tour when we perform, you know it, I explain that this is what it means, Yahoo. You know, Yahoo is not yahoo.com, okay? Yahoo, especially now this crisis for justice, for unite, for peace, when Ethiopian people say Yahoo, everybody come together. Yahoo. Yahoo. Please say with us Yahoo, okay? Yahoo. Yahoo. Nawalo. 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 Northern. Nawalo. Southern. Navalo, Eastern, Navalo, Western, Navalo, Humanity, Navalo, 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 Navalo,
So can you, I mean, people um, can probably see from the dance some of the emotions you're expressing, um, the gestures of um, suffocation, right? The gestures of struggling and uh, and I think eventually, you know, Gondor dance. Is that your choreography? Is that of- Yes, uh, yes. For the 16 minutes, it's quite sustained energy yeah. from musicians and the dancers. Yeah. Um, so, how do you think do people uh understand it that way do you think when the audience come to fendika or maybe watch it on youtube um so how does it how does the dance the meaning right so the meaning that you're talking about you're dancing for justice for hope for freedom for humanity um yeah it's art i believe is not to make it complicated mm -hmm. to arrive as much possible easier the message to arrive so that's why when i dance also i mix word some mm -hmm. just words sometimes in amharic mm -hmm. and english uh, mm -hmm. to make at that time when i did oh that means this that means this they can make mm -hmm. a story mm -hmm. uh they can follow me that's why mm -hmm. when i dance uh, with an instrument and I make them uh, that way uh, arrangement and mm -hmm. also when I did uh, my hand movement face expression I did mm -hmm. like just to switch ways the sound making the history you know mm -hmm. uh, uh, racist and also mm -hmm. inside the local currently issue in inside uh, racism now is like Amara or Romo Tigre is have become uh, very strongly so mm -hmm. uh, about humanity and mm -hmm. but i use it also like when i'm singing like west south east north i did not only i stand here from what i stand from all over you know from all over and i mm -hmm. said also like emirates uh latin us uh europe and africa and so unite and humanity mm -hmm. And so this kind of word I collect, people understand what is going on the, inside that. Mm -hmm. So, and I love it also, the local understanding become better. The international mm -hmm. come together, we go together mm -hmm. to fight for this mm -hmm. enemy. Mm -hmm. And so I believe this way we become bigger and a bigger family. This way to change the world, our planet, mm -hmm. through the art. The, mm -hmm. Yeah. And many uh, artists play, say that, and I follow that also. I not only follow, I feel it. I yeah. live inside that. Okay, so I, I, yeah, I want to come back to the question of joy um, of dance in yeah. dance. It is um, a very difficult time now to, um, sorry, to talk about joy. Yeah. Understand you, yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. 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 So, so you know, especially here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, we are um, at the epicenter of um, you know brutal police violence, um, the killing of George Floyd, yeah. um, and the persistence of all kinds of racism. And I, and of course, it's not particular to our state. Um, so the, you know, persistence of racism and colonialism of all kinds, right? So um, this is what the our world is uh, facing these days. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. how do you? I guess you know how do you how do you find joy? Um, that's a question. How do you? Um, and also, is it is it okay to to experience joy? You know, just because yesterday I was working, um, you know, with you on the Fendika concert, uh, and it's an incredibly joyful music and dance. Um, it's healing, right? So it helps me for a moment to uh, to feel my humanity uh, in a different way. At the same time, you know, I'm my mind is also you know, in St. Paul, in Minneapolis, uh, knowing what's happening. Um, 
so I'm really pulled in all kinds of directions. I, uh, it's, it's a very difficult time, but so I want to hear from you. Um, so where do you, where do you get the source? I mean, you're struggling with, uh, you know, uh, all kinds of situations, like you're saying, you know, the violence, anti, um, so the, you know, gender-based violence, so the violence against women, but, you know, ethnic-based violence, um, it's happening all the time, but how do you manage to keep going with this work? It's, I think I think is I learn from my life. Uh, is I'm practicing through the life road. Uh, it's no solution only to sit and crying and think of only that happen. It will pass, but I don't mean I don't feel it. Uh, but you you don't stop breathing. Thank God, you know, just I'm, I can't breathe through my heart. And that you answer it already. The goal is to do it, to continue that, at least for that moment, to making, giving you breathing. And each house in all over the world, in depression, this all felt, you know, at least that moment to share my breathing, to breathe together and to fight together. Mm -hmm. Example, you know, in very dangerous, and my son is uh, in the hospital, and one uh, po uh, performing, just mm -hmm. in danger, and I put it, and I, I come and I dance, mm -hmm. never thinking that my all the musician they shocked, and mm -hmm. so you see, and I'm dancing for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, no, I'm dancing also, I'm breathing also for him to keeping him, our heart, in mm -hmm. Minnesota. And for her here, uh, what is she's dying before yesterday, mm -hmm. and by murder. And not only is this accounting one, two people. Mm -hmm. Right now, how many people is suffering? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not because of big news or small news. Mm -hmm. And but that all strengths coming, I'm a street children. I fight, no, no, I live three days without food and many struggle I found, but I never change what I love, my dance. My dance is save me. My dance is medicine. My dance is make me hope. You'll be changed. We fight for justice, humanity, for all things through my dance. And because I saw it, I, I live it and I, I pass it this. Thank you so much. Um, so, and then also the, I think I've heard you say a few times, you know, COVID-19 has disrupted uh, your work, right? In, in very significant ways. Um, yeah. And then of course, in, you know, our reality um, of Minnesota, this, um, you know, eruption of um, uprising against racism, um, and all of that. So, and then of course we we have COVID nineteen too. Yeah. Um, that our life is not normal. Um, so it's this enormous rupture of um, our everyday reality. Um, I've heard that you say if you you know for you your all of your international tours are canceled. Yeah. You have to close Bendika Culture Center. Basically, you know you can't have any visitors. Um, yeah. For it's been two months now probably going to yeah. be who knows how long so um so that's it's difficult this tremendous tremendously challenging but it's, but you also said it was it's a great learning opportunity yeah um, can you share with a, a little bit about what you have learned so far um you know this in this moment two things one is uh, very sad, what we lose the people for sure. Mm -hmm. But, mm, and from point of view, my experience, uh, world is, uh, I think, a good opportunity to learn. And we are not only staying home, mm -hmm. we uh, have opportunity to uh, stay inside us, to feel it. Mm -hmm. Always the name of busy, 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 and 
we are not really concentrate. We are not mm -hmm. meditate. We are just emotional, just uh, uh, we eating without tasting. We mm -hmm. speak without notice. Mm -hmm. And we very fast we judge. And, and when she think us, why I'm born, you know? Why I'm here in this planet? Mm -hmm. What I did? And wow. A light is a in in Orthodox Church. Uh, we have when he did we did mistake as a natural. We tell the monk or the priest our fault, mm -hmm. and they give us what to do: med meditate and fasting, mm -hmm. and not to do it again. So that's making you relief, mm -hmm. and again new person. So this COVID-19 like that mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. That is uh, a good opportunity uh, to be a new person. Mm -hmm. I learn uh, to be a new person and mm -hmm. to prepare and ready myself. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's all is past. You know, we each second we have nature and many cells old dying from our body and things change so very short period we live in this land these uh, things but we did good things and that is feeling uh, never to die our body can die but we don't die and we feel it in lively that's a blessing that's feeling come out so you forget yourself you start fighting for others and uh, that beautiful part Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. yeah, you know, all material thing is uh, nothing. Is uh, we oh, I have shoes and uh, I have tape. Uh, I have car. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. All that thing is not working now. It's not mm -hmm. saving you from coronavirus. Right, uh, right. Yeah. So just be human being. That's mm -hmm. really beautiful learning. I hope mm -hmm. things change mm -hmm. after this. Uh, period.